Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to another episode of Software Development with C++. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about debugging memory errors with Address Sanitizer. So in the last video, we looked at the basics of debugging, you know, multiple different kinds of memory errors with Valgrind. Now, another way that we can debug memory errors is through sanitizers, and specifically with memory errors, we can use Address Sanitizer. So on the right-hand side of the screen, I have the Google uh, repository up for uh, the sanitizers and specifically the documentation for Address Sanitizer. So we can see that Address Sanitizer, or ASAN, is a memory error detector for C and C++. And it is there to you know, help debug a number of different kinds of issues. So things like use after free bugs, heap and stack buffer overflows, and things like memory leaks. So what we're going to be looking at today is kind of applying Azure Sanitizer to a number of the examples that we looked at in the last video that we debugged with Valgrind. Now, one of the main benefits of Azure Sanitizer compared to things like Valgrind is the speed of our programs when we're running them um, with this kind of debugging. So one of the main benefits of, uh, of Azure Sanitizer is that the tool is incredibly fast. So let's go ahead and look at a couple examples here and try to parse the output from Azure Sanitizer and see how we can debug our memory errors with it. So we'll go ahead and start by opening up zeroerror.cpp. And just like last time, we're going to be looking at an off by one error, so an indexing out of bounds problem. So here, right, um, we create a std array in our simple program here, so an array of four integers, just 42, 3, 39, and 4, just some random numbers. And then we have a loop where we made a bug here, where we have an off by one error. So instead of comparing the bounds of, you know, i is less than my array dot size, we accidentally did i is less than or equal to my array dot size. So in the last iteration of this loop, we're going to index out of bounds. So let's go ahead and compile and run this with Azure Sanitizer and see what we get as an output. So we'll go ahead and compile zero error.cpp and we'll compile it with dash g so we get some nice line numbers. And then to turn on Azure Sanitizer, we can just do dash f sanitize equals address. Okay, so we went ahead and compiled it. Let's go ahead and run it and look through the output. So we'll go ahead and make uh, the window a little bit bigger here. We can scroll on up to the top. So you can see our program is going on as normal, no errors, right? For iterations, you know, zero, one, two, and three. But then we get our off by one error, right? Where we're indexing out of bounds. And you can see that address sanitizer, you know, it yells at us saying, hey, stack buffer overflow on this particular address at this program counter value. And specifically, it tells us that we have a read of size 4, right, uh, in, in thread t0 here. And it tells us where that's occurring, right? It's occurring at line 13 inside of our program. Now, it also gives us some other information that will be useful for debugging. So it tells us the stack, um, right, that this is located in. So specifically, it's going to be inside of, you know, zero error.cpp on line 7. So that's just going to be our main function. And it even tells us some information about the objects inside of this program. So it tells us that we have this object my array that's taking up 16 total bytes. So from at you know offset 32 to 48 here, right? Non-inclusive at the end here. So these 16 bytes here, that's going to be our four integers inside of our std array. And it's saying that our memory access at offset 48 overflows this variable. So we're running off the end of my array here. Now, another very nice thing about this is this table that it provides us to help us visualize this access. So if we go ahead and take a look at the legend for this table, we see that everything marked with zeros are going to be um, addressable parts of our memory, partially addressable parts of our memory, right? Things that belong to this program. We've marked with you know one through seven here, so the number of bytes in a particular place we're allowed to access. And then everything else is going to be things like heap and stack, um, left and right red zones here, and markers for things like freed heap memory. Now, specifically on our example here, right, it tells us an error of exactly where to look here. So we have these 16 bytes of memory here that is addressable. So this is going to be our 16 bytes for our my array. And you can see that's surrounded by this F1 and F3 here. So F1 is going to be our stack left red zone and our stack right red zone for F3, uh, respectively. So these are, you know, basically some you know, guard bands around our addressable memory that we don't want to access here, right? That you know, lib asan is is telling us, hey, you're accessing something that you're not supposed to. So you can see here with these square brackets, it's telling us you're accessing inside of the stack right red zone, right? You've run off the end of your addressable memory. This is where your bug is, or this is where you're accessing with your bug. So it tells us exactly that we're running off of my array here, right? Right at the end. 
So this is our off by one error. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue on and go to our second example here. And this is going to be um, our memory leak example. So we have a simple um, vector addition um, example here. So we create a couple arrays, right, using dynamic allocation here. So we allocate for 1024 floats for these uh, arrays A and B here. We fill them with some random numbers, and then we do vector addition. But at the very end, we forget to actually free our memory, right? We don't delete um, A and B here. So let's see what, uh, you know, address sanitizer uh, complains at us about. So we'll go ahead and compile uh, one error.cpp. And again, we'll turn on dash F sanitize equals address. And we can go ahead and run one error. And it tells us that we that it detected memory leaks here. And it tells us specifically which uh, piece of memory we leaked. So we leaked uh, 4K bytes here. So this is our um, one of our arrays of you know, 1,000 floats here. And it tells us that it was allocated by new um, at line 11 inside of our program here. So this is where we're calling new. And likewise, we have our other array that was leaked here that was allocated with our call to new on line 10 of our program here. So it tells us that we leaked a total of you know, 8K bytes in two allocations here. And it gives us some information about those allocations. So if we go ahead and open up one error.cpp and we look at lines 10 and 11, of course, those are going to be our dynamically sized arrays here, right? A and B that we called new for, right? Those are the piece of memory that we leaked. Okay, so we can go ahead and continue on here and we'll go to two error.cpp. So, you know, just like last time in our attempt to, you know, get rid of this memory leak, we tried to free our memory, but we made another kind of bug here, right? Which is this double free. So here we allocated our memory, we did our vector addition with our random numbers, and then we tried to delete our memory, but we accidentally deleted A twice here. So let's go ahead and see what Azure Sanitizer uh, tells us about this. So we'll go ahead and compile um, to error.cpp again with address sanitizer, and we can go ahead and run to error. And it tells us specifically that we're attempting a double free, right, um, in thread zero. So we're calling this operator delete on line uh, 29 of our program here, uh, and that's going to be this double free. And it tells us that this memory was previously freed by T0, right, by calling delete at line 28 of our program, and that it was previously allocated, um, right, at line 10 of our program here. So let's go ahead and open up to error.cpp again and trace back those line numbers. So we see on line 10 of our program, we of course have our allocation for A. Then if we go ahead and scroll on down, at line 28 of our program, we have our initial free of A. And of course on line 29, where we got this error, um, that's where we're trying to do this double free, where we accidentally delete A again. Okay, now moving on to our final kind of error here, this is going to be a use after free bug. So again, we you have our same kind of uh, vector addition example here, where we allocate some memory, do vector addition on some random numbers, and then free it. But here, we're accidentally um, using our memory again after it's been freed. So we're indexing into these um, arrays that we've already deleted down here. So let's see what address sanitizer tells us about this. So we'll go ahead and compile three error.cpp uh, with dash g and dash f address sanitizer, or sanitize equals address. And then we can go ahead and run three error here. And it tells us that we have a heap use after free here. So we're using memory after we freed it. And it tells us that we have a read of size four here occurring at line 33 of our program. So this is where our uh, use after free is occurring. And it says that, you know, this memory that we're trying to access was previously freed right by this delete at line 29 of our program. And it was previously allocated at line 11 of our program. Now, very similar to our other, um, you know, stack, um, you know, issue that we had in our first example, right, where we index one, one off the end of our array here, we get this nice table again that tells us exactly where we're accessing uh, from our freed memory. So if we go ahead and look at this table again, zeros are going to be addressable pieces of memory. Um, this FA is going to be our heap left red zone, and FD is going to be our freed heap region here. So what we see specifically is that we're accessing the first element inside of this freed heap region. And that should make sense, right? We're accessing right, index zero into one of those arrays. So this is exactly where we're accessing 
um, our previously freed memory here. So you see we're accessing you know something that's been marked as a freed heap region, right? It's no longer addressable, right? It no longer belongs to this program. So let's go ahead and open up 3error.cpp and kind of trace these things back. So of course, um, at line 11 of our program, we have our allocation. At line uh, you know, 29 of our program, we have our delete of A here where we freed our memory. And then down here at line 33, this is where we're indexing our previously freed memory here, right? So we're accessing index zero of A here, but A was previously deleted, right? So that's you know where we're getting all these line numbers from, and this is exactly where we're accessing, right? In this uh, freed heap region over here. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and do it for this time. It's a little bit on how to kind of interpret this output from address sanitizer and how we can use it to debug you know, these kinds of memory errors. Now, again, like I said at the very beginning, one of the main benefits of using Address Sanitizer is that um, it's a very fast tool and you can run it with optimized code. So you, you don't have to run this, you know, at, you know, dash O zero or something. You can compile this and it's even suggested to compile this, um, your code with things like dash O two. Um, so you can still run with, um, you know, optimized code or even highly optimized code. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this time. As always, you can find this or any of my other examples at github.com slash coffee before art. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.